Hello there team, thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live and LinkedIn Live, where I'm going to share with you some tips on how to improve your LinkedIn profile above the fold. All right, so this is such an overlooked part of, whoops, let's just get rid of those timers. This is such an overlooked part of your digital presence for, for most people. Now, when you think about it in real life, um, what happens is like we go to meetings, we, we try and present well, we, we put on our work clothes, we, we brush our hair, we, we groom ourselves, we try and put our best foot forward. We'll normally have business cards and we will normally make an effort so that the person that we are meeting with appreciates who we are and we're our best version of ourselves for these people in our work context. Now, I encourage you to think about your LinkedIn profile in the same way. We want to be putting our best foot forward every time, just like we would when we went to a one-on-one -on -one meeting or a business breakfast or a function. All right, so think about the time and effort it normally takes to get ready to meet with somebody in person. It might be 15 minutes, it might be half an hour. Um, but we are prepared to put in the effort even though it's only going to be a potentially small group of people. Yet on LinkedIn, there are dozens, if not hundreds, if not thousands of people viewing us and forming their opinion. We're making a first impression, whether it's good or bad. Um, and so it deserves the right amount of attention from us as business owners because that is the version of you that most people are going to see. In fact, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be the digital version of yourself that people see first. And it might be all they see of you. They may either walk the other way if they don't like what they see or it doesn't align to what they're looking for. Um, so we don't actually know how many opportunities we might have missed because our LinkedIn presence isn't up to scratch. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that when people do a Google search and they type in your name, it's normally going to be your LinkedIn profile that comes up top, given the nature of how much authority LinkedIn has as a site. Normally, the LinkedIn page, the result will come up higher than your company website or your personal website or blog. Okay, so welcome to the folks who are joining me live. It is wonderful to see you. Um, this, of course, is being recorded. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to show you the tips for your LinkedIn profile, which are above the fold. All right, so with that introduction, what I actually want to share with you now is a behind the scenes look at the areas that I think are going to be most useful for you when you are doing your LinkedIn profile. So. Let's jump over into LinkedIn. This is my account because it's obviously easier if I show you in my account rather than somebody else's. So the things we're looking at here, folks, the main things, we want your URL up the top here to be uh, the, the best version of it, the, the version that you want. We want to remove the string of numbers and letters that a lot of people still have on their URL. So off the shelf, it sometimes looks a bit like that, and you've got this weird string of numbers and letters off the back. What we want to do is actually just tidy that up and fix it all up. So when you're in your profile, all you want to actually do is just click this Edit Public Profile and URL button. What that does is it just opens up a new tab, and you can tidy it up over here on the right-hand side just by clicking that pencil icon to edit it. Um, I recommend having first name, last name if you can. I know there's different trains of thought out there. Some people are big fans of, like if you're a mortgage broker, putting your name, putting that custom URL as mortgage broker so that people can find you or that you rank for that keyword phrase. Look, there's merit in that. I personally think that people do business with people. Um, I think it's worth just having your name for simplicity. If it's already taken, consider just putting a number or a location or what have you. Uh, so that's the URL. 
let's go back to the main profile part. The other things to keep in mind here, folks, is uh, the headline. So that's important. Our name is important, especially if maybe you've had like a previous name. You can add that in. Now I haven't, I've always been Adam Franklin, so I don't need to change that part. But you can also put in a pronunciation as well. So if I click that, it would play Adam Franklin, how I would pronounce my name. So again, if you're dealing with a global audience or even a local audience, sometimes people might feel uncomfortable, not quite knowing how to pronounce your name properly. So it's, an, it's another easy step to, to put in there. Um, the headline, in my opinion, is a very, very valuable piece of real estate. Matched probably, I, I, probably not quite as important as the banner, but the banner is such a big bit of real estate that it's super, super worth um, utilizing because it's so big. Now off the shelf, it just comes as that sort of boring, bland, generic uh, banner. But what we can do, and we can do this for free in Canva, there's dozens, in fact, there's thousands of LinkedIn banners we can choose from for free in Canva. What I recommend doing is taking a picture, either of you at work doing your thing, if that's not appropriate, or if that's a bit weird for you, get maybe like an iconic sort of um, picture of the town or area that you work at. For example, like in Brisbane here, you could put the Story Bridge. In Sydney, you might put the um, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Something like that is really good. If you're in a coastal town, a picture of you know the local scenery is also a nice way to do it. And whatever works for you, um, it should be reflective of you or your business or your location or something kind of memorable. And then, what I recommend doing is just putting a text overlay over the top of that picture. And that text overlay, ideally, in my opinion, would include the words that you use in your headline part here. So whatever you land on for your headline, I would take the key words from that and put that as text over the top of your banner. That way people get a very um, consistent experience in that sort of you know seven seconds they have when they're making that first impression to go oh wow either if I read the the banner or if I read the words in the headline it's consistent and I understand what this person does. Now the words that you choose to use for the headline is another discussion another consideration for you. We won't go too deep into it now but I like to use words that your ideal buyers or your ideal clients or customers, the words that they use. So make it less, unless you're like a big well-known company like Apple or Google or Microsoft or Nike or Coke or something like that. If you're typically a coach or consultant or advisor and you're not, and your company name is not as well known as you, I would make it more about the words that other people would use. So like the example before, mortgage broker. Um, don't say director of... Um, XYZ company because no one really knows what XYZ company does and the fact that you're a director is true but it's not that useful because most people are thinking well I want a mortgage broker. Um, so yeah use the words that your buyers would use when describing you then by all means feel free to put in the fact that you're founder or CEO or director or whatever of, of your company name that that is fine to put in there but I just wouldn't lead with it and if you do want to keep it out, that, that's fine too. Um, and then try to include some specifics around either how you serve people, like what outcome you get them to achieve, or very specifically the type of person or the, the vertical or the niche slash niche um, of your area of specialty. The more we can convey here, the more likely we are to stand out um, to our ideal client. Okay. Uh, all right. So the banner and the headline should have some similarity there. I encourage you just to double check that your contact info is all up to date. In as much as you've got the information you want and you have removed the information you don't want visible and that it's all up to date. So double check that for yourself as well. 
And folks, that is really all people are seeing above the fold. It's worth probably mentioning, yes, you can put um, a company, your most recent or your most relevant company from your experience section down below is going to show up here. And then underneath it is going to show up um, one of your education listings from below. So it's either going to be your secondary school or your high school or your university slash college. I've chosen to put my university and my role here at Blue Wire. All right, team, so that is what people can see above the folds. Actually, one more thing, if we're getting really technical, some people will be going, but Adam, what about this little part here where it says, talks about content, business, LinkedIn, marketing, and social media marketing? Well, that is for some people, if you have turned on your creator mode down here. If you publish content, it's worth doing. I appreciate that 99% of people don't publish content on LinkedIn. Even though I recommend that you do, most people don't. So I wouldn't worry about it for most people. If you are a publisher, please go ahead and turn that on and nominate five hashtags of topics that you talk about. Okay, team, so what I also have for you, if you're interested, is a LinkedIn profile checklist. It's a free download. It's been very, very popular over the years. I've just released uh, the latest version of it. It's free. And if that appeals inside that document, you'll find a way to actually um, get your hands on my LinkedIn profile makeover workbook. This is something that my private clients use. Um, you do have to buy it, but it's a very reasonable uh, fee. This is the first thing that I do with my coaching clients is to revamp and update and make sure they're putting their best foot forward on their LinkedIn profile. Uh, so anyway, all the details for that will be available. Hope that helps, team. And I look forward to um, hearing any questions that you've got. And thanks for joining me for today's Facebook Live. We'll see you later.